Hi, I'm Josh from LCI Paper, and today I'd like to walk you through the steps of printing envelopes at home using your computer, your printer, and Microsoft Word. Now, printing envelopes at home can be a time saver, and it can also save you money, um, depending on your calligraphy skills or depending on what um, a calligrapher might have charged if you were to go that route. Most people are experts when it comes to printing 8.5 by 11 copy paper at home or at work, but printing envelopes requires some extra steps. I'm going to walk you through the process. In my accompanying blog article, you'll find all of the steps and you'll find some extra considerations. So I strongly recommend that you uh, follow along the article as well as watching this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to print on a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter envelope called an A7 envelope like this. We'll be printing uh, names and an address, but the same principles and the same instructions will apply um, to virtually any size envelope that you'll be printing, uh, like these three sizes or even double wedding envelopes. Step one, load the envelope into your printer. With the flap closed, load the short edge first into your printer and then adjust the plastic sliding guide to rest flush against the left edge of your envelope. Step two, in Word, set up your document. Create a new document sized to the same dimensions as your envelope. So for this example, my envelope is five and a quarter inches high by seven and a quarter inches wide. I'm gonna set these same dimensions, but in decimals because that's how Word likes it. So 5.25 inches high by 7.25 inches wide. Type in the first name and address from your guest list. Customize the text by choosing a specific font that you like and a font size and center the text at this point. When everything looks the way you'd like it to be printed, you're all set to move forward to step three. Access the printer driver and enter the envelope's height, width, and alignment. Even though you loaded your envelope correctly in step one, the printer still assumes that you've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper. So you do need to enter your printer driver and enter a custom size. Since your envelope is loaded on its side, short edge first, the width becomes the shorter dimension, in this example, five and a quarter, and the height becomes the longer dimension, uh, seven and a quarter. All this is accessed in the printer's software, or driver, and the specific PC and Mac instructions are in my article. Step four, print one envelope as a test. Now the reason that we strongly suggest printing a sample envelope first is that we need to see if the printed test results meets your requirement. Uh, there are a few things to look for. First of all, does the text print as you were hoping? Uh, is the text sharp and saturated on the envelope? Another thing to consider, is the envelope still in excellent shape after running through your printer? Certain printers have a sharp turn that can damage the envelope, so make sure your envelope still looks pristine, especially if it's a, a special event. Also, depending on the type of envelope you use, whether a matte finish like this, a linen finish, a metallic finish, you've got to make sure that your printer gives you the quality that you're looking for. Otherwise, you may want to choose a different type of envelope or you may want to um, look at a different printer to use for this job. Bottom line, only by testing the actual envelope in your specific printer can you determine the actual results. Step five, print your envelopes. There are two ways to print envelopes that are going to different addresses. The first way is just to go back to your Word document, change the name and address, and print an envelope. Just repeat the process for each address. And the second is a more advanced technique, and that's printing your envelopes all at once using Microsoft Word's Mail Merge feature. And we've provided a link to that article in this article. If you have any questions about printing envelopes at home, get in touch with us so we can help you.